something very important disappears from life when we retire or we become financially independent, but it's actually something we can't afford to lose in retirement. We've helped hundreds of people retire at Streamline Financial, and this is actually a normal thing that will disappear unless we do something about it. And some of the studies that we've seen, it shows that retirees who lose this, they will decline faster mentally and physically. And I already know you and me both, that's two things we want to avoid is the quick decline mentally and physically. So if you're not retired yet, watch this so you can just be ready for it before you get to this point. If you are retired, I've got something that you can actually do today to help improve this and improve retirement and make retirement even better. So the thing that goes away in retirement is something you actually wanted to go away, but I'll, I'll share why, why we need to keep it. And that's stress, right? You're probably like, well, yeah, Dave, I know that's why I stopped working. It was because the stress was getting too much and it, it wasn't helpful for me anymore or I couldn't do it anymore. I, I just don't want that stress anymore is really why a lot of people do retire. And I agree, that's a great thing to get rid of is the, the unnecessary stress. But what we've seen also disappears is the type of stress that's actually beneficial for us as humans. And I'll explain what I mean. Because there's stress that's associated with having a goal or a challenge or a future ideal. And it's not something that's just handed to us. It's something we have to work for and make progress to, to achieve that goal. It's that making progress that's so essential and something that goes away in retirement that we really don't want to disappear completely. Because progress is, is really one of the essential elements to a successful life. There's that quote that says, challenges keep the brain kicking and then the heart ticking. And there's a strong link, there's research that shows a strong link between making progress on our goals and our happiness levels. They're directly correlated. So they they move in line. It's, it's good for our mental health and it assists with that idea of just self-respect and value as we get into retirement and having value and a purposeful life. The other quote, that I've heard is challenges, they make us discover things about ourselves that we never really knew, right? Something new that we haven't done before, we can accomplishment, accomplish it. So growth is important. And in order to have that successful retirement, we, we need to make progress and we need to grow. Whether that's learning new things, you know, something we didn't know, it's a new skill that we have to get better at and make progress in, or it's a new health challenge or a way of eating all of it, growth is essential. But here's the best part. In retirement, you've got freedom, right? You can pick what you want to make progress on. There's no boss. There's no uh, customer or client really telling you what you need to focus on. You can do the thing that's best for you. But there is a downside in retirement. And we often see that people just don't proactively put stress in their life or try to increase challenges in their life. So today's video is really a challenge for you. If you're up for it, I'm calling it the retirement 30 for 30, and I'll share the steps and I'll share how I'm personally doing this too over the next 30 days. And if you don't partake in this video, then maybe you want to watch this one instead, which is seven things happy retirees do. But here's the steps for retirement 30 for 30. It's choose the area of progress and it could be the new skill. It could be a new challenge or a habit or an existing area of competency that you're looking to improve, then commit to 30 minutes a day for 30 consecutive days. And then three, create some accountability. Either tell a friend, tell a family member, or share it in the comments below. And uh, I'll share mine also coming up. But uh, the last thing is track it daily with a calendar. For me, it's I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm doing the physical calendar here and just putting a big X today's day number one for me. So there's three core advantages to this. Uh, it's significant because we're talking at uh, talking about 30 days, which is a significant commitment, but it's a light kind of stress, right? 30 minutes a day, that's manageable. And then the third big thing is it's going to compound, right? You do anything for 30 minutes a day, 30 days in a row, that's 900 total minutes achieved. So whether it's health related and it's exercise and walking, it's 900 minutes of walking. If it's reading, uh, that that's 900 minutes of covering classic books or uh, you know, not business books anymore, but self-improvement type books. If it's uh, prayer and scripture, that's 900 minutes connecting with your creator. And then 900 minutes of meditation, that can help 
towards uh, having a clearer mind. So if you take the challenge, we're going to make retirement not just a time of rest, which is good, but also one of meaningful growth. And I already shared the what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, but my actual goal is write 500 words daily. That's the goal for me. That's the challenge is 500 words a day is what I want to get better at. And if you want more tips about a fulfilling retirement, check out this video on the seven things happy retirees do. And then I'll see you in the next video.